Uh, well, the weather here in Westminster is glorious. It's been glorious in much of the UK over these past few days. But today, we are told, could be a record breaker. However, that could pose some problems for those who are working outdoors. Joining us now from Hanbury Hall in Worcestershire is our reporter, Rebecca Williams, to tell us more. Rebecca. Well, yeah, it's been very difficult, hasn't it, the last few days for many people working outside. But as you can see, the gardens are absolutely beautiful here in Worcestershire. And later on, we are expecting temperatures to reach around 34 degrees Celsius. If that happens, uh, that will be the hottest summer solstice on record. Of course, today, the 21st of June, the longest day of the year. And it could also be the fifth consecutive day of this heat wave. If that happens, it's the first time it has done so since 1995. Now, the Met Office have issued an amber heat wave weather warning. That's the second highest, just one down from a national emergency. But of course, for many people, thousands are heading to beaches today to lie those up and down the country. But for others, it has serious implications. Of course, the NHS warning at the elderly and people with health conditions to stay inside, keep hydrated, of course, out of the sun on those peak times between 11 and 3. And of course, in London, there is also an air pollution warning. So you might see those posters up and down on the underground on, on bus stops warning people about that. And on Monday, of course, we saw uh, that awful consequences of a teenager drowning in a reservoir up in Greater Manchester. So for many, it has shocking consequences. But of course, uh, here in Hanbury Hall, of course, they're saying that they need more water for the gardens and uh, the plants. And this is an area where there's also a lot of farmers around here who depend on the weather. But for many of us, of course, the sunshine is welcome. Uh, but if the last few days is anything to go by, perhaps a few uh, drops in the Celsius wouldn't go amiss. OK, Rebecca, thank you very much. Set to be a record-breaking day temperature-wise uh, in the south of the country. A lot of uh, Now, as you can no doubt see as I'm squinting, uh, the sun has come out here in Westminster. Another lovely, glorious, sunny day. Uh, it's been that way for the past few days across much of Britain, and today could be a record-breaker. However, that is not good news for everyone, of course. Let's go to Hanbury Hall in Worcestershire and speak to our reporter, Rebecca Williams. Good morning, Rebecca. Yes, good morning to you, Sarah Jane. I think it could be the case here. It is already feeling pretty warm here at Hanbury Hall, as you say. And uh, gosh, I'm attracting the flies here, I've got to say, because I'm wearing this yellow today. Um, but uh, today could break all records. We're expecting this to be the hottest summer solstice day on record. And it could be the fifth consecutive day of this heat wave. If that is the case, it'll be the first time since 1995. And I have to say, lots of people uh, going to the beach, going to the Lido's, making the most of the sun. It's been a glorious summer, but not the case for everyone. Of course, the NHS warning people, especially the elderly and those who have health conditions, uh, to stay inside, keep uh, hydrated and, of course, avoid the sun in those peak hours from 11 o'clock till 3 o'clock. And in areas like this where there are a lot of farmers and gardeners, it's not necessarily uh, good news. And that's on nicely to the chief gardener here, uh, Neil. Just talk me through, are you enjoying the sunshine or... Is it difficult to work it? Uh, enduring probably is more the case, but who can moan with the sun shining, really? So we're, we're getting on with it. And how does it affect the plants, then? The plants are all under stress, like everyone is in this week, weather, we all wilt a bit, you know, so we're spot treating those with a bit of water, try and keep them just going through until we get some natural rain. And for farmers as well, because there's a lot of them around here, aren't there? There is, yes, yes. They're all moaning. There's not enough grass out there for their, for their sheep and cows, so a bit of rain coming later in the week was going to be a blessing for them. And I have to say, beautiful gardens here. Do you design all these yourself? I don't claim to design very much here, no. No, no, this is all the genius of George London's work, who was the original designer for the gardens. All we've done is trying to interpret his plans. And you were telling me earlier that these are kind of original flowers, are they? Yes, we're trying to use plants of the periods, but some of the varieties are a more modern variety because you can't get an 18th century French marigold, for example. But we've got some lovely pink uh, plants out here, Brompton stocks, which again are George London original plants from his Brompton nursery. Thanks ever so much. It's lovely to speak to you. Well, it is a glorious day here. There's an amber weather warning in place from the Met Office. That's the second highest heat wave warning, uh, one down from a national emergency. And I have to say, uh, Sarah Jane, don't wear yellow today because, like I say, I'm attracting these bugs. Yeah, don't wear yellow, but do wear sunscreen. Um, as uh, Rebecca was saying, an amber warning today. Make sure when you go out today, you take water with you and sunscreen. Uh, being ginger, I know all about that. 